Today it's all about the percent equation. The percent equation is simply an equation where part equals percent times whole. And the reason why we like this equation is because it can help us find a part that is missing or it can help us find a percent that is missing. So let's start with finding a part. What's going to happen today is you are going to have a word phrase such as what is 26% of 50? Now there are some key words here. So whenever we see the word of in a word phrase like this, whatever number follows that, that is your whole. And we can plug it into the whole position of the percent equation. Now the percent is really easy for us to see because we just see the percent symbol. So I start always by writing my percent equation. Part equals percent times whole. And then I'm going to substitute in those values that I know. Well, I know my percent, but I'm always going to change that percent to a decimal. Remember, you're going to drop that percent symbol, and you're going to replace it with a decimal point, and you're going to move that decimal point two places to the left. So 26% is the same as 0.26. Now, because 50 follows the word of, and I know of always shows me the whole, I'm going to put 50 in place of the whole. So now, all I need to do is multiply 50 times 26 hundredths, and whatever that answer is going to be, that is going to be my part. And remember, when you multiply, count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point, and you're going to move that decimal point back two places in order to get that 13. So what is 26% of 50? It's 13. Now we can also find a percent using this equation. So we might get something that says what percent of 315 is 126? Again, certain words really lead me to what the different parts of are on our percent equation. So, Anything that follows the word of reflects your whole. So here my whole is 315. Now, after that, you see this word is. And if the is follows the of, that reflects the part. So I know my part is 126. And I know one has to be part, one has to be whole, because I'm trying to find that percent. So I'm going to replace my part with, with, with 126. Now all I need to do is find my percent. Well, I'm going to create an equation with that because I know 315 times a percent, I just change that percent to P to give me a variable. So 315 times P is 315P. And I know that if I want to get that P by itself, I just need to divide out that 315. But whatever I do on one side, I need to do on the other. So it sets up this equation of 126 divided by 315. And when you divide that out, you are going to get a decimal, 0 0.4. But a decimal is not the same as a percent. So what I have to do is I have to change that decimal back into its percent form. And remember, you do that by moving that decimal point two places to the right. So that becomes now 40%. So this percent equation is all that you need to use in order to find a part or in order to find a percent. So good luck. It's up to you. Have some fun.